Hey, hey, hey. What's going on, subscribers? What's good, everybody? Hey, y'all know what this is. Lockout men. Makes the call. Thank you for joining me for another episode. You know, this series is all about making calls to these uh, carriers and uh, getting the information that uh, you guys need. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, and if you are, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more videos. Make sure you leave a like if you like it. I pump them out every week. I don't have a specific day that they come out, but they do come out every week. And I hope you guys are enjoying them. Go, go, go. Let's do this. last week I made a call to Snyder yes yes very awkward call <laughs> um, it, it was awkward because of the fact that I already had talked to Nancy prior to uh, making the call back to her it was it was it wasn't that good I mean she was very vague on on all of the questions that I had uh, asked her so she wasn't giving me quite the answers that i was looking for that's what you guys gotta gotta do you gotta you gotta talk to the recruiters to get the answers that you're looking for you see what i'm saying or you can't just have the recruiter to just try to talk and sugarcoat the company you see what i'm saying what you guys gotta do when you talk to these recruiters you gotta you gotta question them sort of you gotta question them to to the fact that they can be honest in the answers that they're giving, you know. All right, so this week call is another subscriber call. Should be right there. Yeah, yeah. Should should be right there. This one is to now I can't pronounce the name. Uh, for, I I can't pronounce the name. Give me a minute. What's good, everybody? All right. Well, as you already know, I am about to make the call to Frezard's Trucking. That's F-R-I-S-A-R-D-S, -S -S, Trucking. When I call the guy or woman, I'm gonna make sure that they give me the correct pronunciation of the uh, trucking company's name. Cause I feel that I'm butchering it. You know what I'm saying? I already gave you guys a little bit of background on it. So, with no further ado, let's get into it, everybody. Let's call Fresnard's Trucking. Fresnard's, how may I help you? Uh, good morning, may I speak to a recruiter, please? Speak to who, sir? A recruiter? A recorder? No, recruiter. Recruiter for the company? Okay, can you hold please? Thank you. Where's Ashley? Hey Ashley, how's it going? You you say your name is Ashley? Yes. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. How are you? I am fine, thank you. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. All right, I I'm ho you I'm hoping you're the person that uh that I can talk to. I'm I'm interested in knowing a little bit more about how you pronounce the company name, Frezar. Frezar, yeah. Frezar. Okay, see, I keep butchering the name. Frezar. 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 Yeah. See, I keep butchering. Mm -hmm. I keep bit. I keep butchering the name. <laughs> yeah, it happens. All right. <laughs> okay, don't feel bad. <laughs> All right. All right. So I got a. I got a. I got a few questions that I that I like. That I'd okay. like to ask and uh, to see if you can help me out okay. in uh, answering. Them. How long have you? How long have you been a recruiter for the company? Well, uh, we don't have recruiters. We're safety. Oh, just safety. So you're talking to the safety department. That's who you go through to get a job. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay, cool. Where's the orientation held? How long is it, and would it pay? Orientation lasts two days. Mm -hmm. It's either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, Friday. It's a paid orientation. Um, how much you guys offer for orientation? I believe it's uh, $150 a day. 
That's just... Same as what a layover would be. So for some odd reason that I don't make it through. What you mean that you don't make it through? We're not like a big company. This isn't like Swift or anything like that. We got like 88 trucks. We're not, we're not one of those companies that brings you through here like cattle and then, you know, just <laughs> gets rid of some of you. We would pre-approve you before we brought you in here for orientation. Okay. And usually when we do orientation, it's just you, maybe one other driver. I think our biggest orientation class ever to date has been four people at one time. So okay. <laughs> we're not your typical large company in that sense. Okay. So I would, I would pre-approve you first. Fill out your application. I'll pull your MDR, your PSP. Make sure that everything's good. Do a couple of pre-employments on you mm -hmm. just to make sure that you are who you say you are and you've done what you say you've done. And then send you for a pre-employment drug screen. And then we would bring you in for orientation. So you guys, so in other uh, words, being that you guys, being a small company and everything, you guys don't don't have mm -hmm. like like trainers or anything like that. You you re, you, no, you, want, um, you, you want we, us we to be. We require all of our drivers to have a minimum of one one year over the road experience. Right. We start those drivers at thirty eight cents a mile with only one year experience, but we also require if you only have one year experience, you kinda have to have a perfect MBR. Um, we prefer a minimum of three, but like I said, we'll take a minimum of one. We do um, we have all 2016, 2017 Freightliners. We are running evolves. All of our trucks have PeopleNet. I'm actually your PeopleNet trainer. I do any and all things technology here. Um, we do paid vacations and holidays. We have a lot of really good benefits. We've got medical, dental, vision. There's a 401k plan that's available to you, a cell phone incentive where we either give you a company cell phone or pay a percentage of your cell phone bill. We also um, have a life insurance policy that is covered by the company at no cost to you. Um, just a lot of good incentives. We do a lot of bonuses, that sort of thing. Um, we're really, really particular about our safety score because it's pretty excellent. We like to keep it that way. Um, so you mentioned the uh, the CPM for uh, experienced drivers being thirty eight cent. What's the uh, no for only one year for, oh, for, for one drivers year? who have more than one year? Yeah, would be we would charge you at forty. Okay, so so it's forty it's forty cent for drivers that got two years or more. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And you did mention the fact that you guys offer benefits. Do you guys uh offer mm -hmm. do you guys offer holiday pay or vacation? We do. It's paid vacations and holidays after one year of employment. What's the average miles that uh that a driver could get? We like you to get a minimum of twenty five hundred miles a week. If you fall below that twenty five hundred mile margin dispatch is probably going to call you in and figure out what's going on. Um, we, we like our company goal for each driver is 10,000 miles a month um, minimum. So unless you decide you want to run a little bit differently, um, between 10 and 13,000 miles a month is, is our goal for you. Do you guys uh, do you guys offer layover pay, detention, and stop pay? Yes, we do. We have detention and we have layover. Um, detention times we pay after two hours. Um, and then layover is after 10 hours. So we pay you detention for up to 10 hours, and then it ends up just being a straight layover pay. And we also do breakdown pay if anything happens to your tractor or trailer where you have to get it fixed. Um, we offer you breakdown. Now, that does not include PMs. When your truck is due for a PM, we usually ask you guys to, you know, try to let us know ahead of time whenever you're scheduling off-duty time. We'll drop, drop the truck off to get a PM done. That way, it's being taken care of while you're at home, that sort of thing. Okay. We have all rider trucks. So they're all Freightliners, but they're, it's a rider lease program. So we call rider for all of our needs with our trucks. We've got about 200 trailers out there kind of sprinkled all over the southeastern U.S. We're mostly going to be in that southeastern uh, category. We do do Midwest. We do have some Ohio, Oklahoma, um, you know, that sort of thing. We do a little northeast, but we do not go to New York and we do not go to California. Well, what about stop pay? Um, do you guys uh, offer stop pay? We don't work. We're, we're, no, we're no touch free. So as far as stock, you mean like moving the freight, like no, yourself? No, 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 no. Stop, stop pay, like, you know, multiple stops. Oh, for additional stops and yes. stuff? Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, but there is a 
per each stop, you get paid something else in addition to. Okay. That would what, definitely be a question for your load planner. What do you, uh, what divisions do you guys uh, have there? We're all 53 foot drive in. All right. What's your pet and rider policy? Um, pets are allowed after one year. Um, riders, I believe it's after 90 days, and that that can be continued unless you get into like an at-fault accident, then you kind of get penalized for that. Only thing is, is with our insurance, they have to be over 18 years of age. We can't have any children in the truck. Uh, you mentioned that... Uh, after 90 days, if your wife or somebody wants to come, we're okay with that. You mentioned that the equipment that you guys have is from a uh, rider. So what mm -hmm. if, and you say they're freight liners, freight liner Cascadias. Mm -hmm. Are they ten speeds, mm -hmm. automatics, or both? Automatics. Automatics, automatics and they're all equipped with APU. For driver comfort, what amenities do you offer inside of the truck? You just mentioned APU. I believe they're all equipped with refrigerators. You got your mattresses, that sort of thing. But like if you wanted a TV, you would have to bring that yourself. Um I have a couple of drivers who put microwaves in their trucks, but as far as what amenities we offer, it, it is complete with an APU and a fridge. Uh, drive cams. Do you guys have drive cams in the cabs? We have forward-facing cameras, not rear-facing. All of our cameras face the road only. They don't capture the driver. I don't want to see what y'all are doing driving down the road. Okay. Um, but for insurance purposes, we do have forward-facing cameras. There, um, You are 100% in control of what that camera captures. Um, it's either based off of a hard brake, a sudden acceleration, or you yourself could actually press the button to record something if you deem it fit you know somebody's driving erratically around you and you want to capture that you you can do that right so you guys want experienced drivers to come in but do you guys offer any type of seat uh any type of sponsor cdl training no we don't um we do not drug testing do you guys uh test uh hair follicles not yet um until dot says that's a requirement we're, we're probably not gonna jump to that it's it's very difficult and expensive what's your policy on felons um five years i believe let me see no duis driver alcohol convictions reckless driving violations or felonies in the last five years if you got in trouble 10 years ago, you know, that's, that's not something that's going to affect you. Can we take the trucks home? Yes, you can. Is there slip seating in the company? Is there what? Slip seating in the company. What do you mean by that? Uh, say like, for example, if I'm out for a period of time, somebody else could take my spot. Okay. No. Um, the only time that that would happen is if you were out like on sick leave for like six or eight weeks, like if you had to go to the hospital or something like that. But we would always have a truck for you when you came back. Gotcha. Do you guys offer a sign on bonus? And if so, how much? We do not offer sign on bonuses. However, we do do recruiting bonuses. So if you did, um, recruit somebody to come work with us. I'm not sure how much they pay, actually. That would be a question for payroll. But um, I know they do give you a bonus. All right. Do you guys uh, offer reimbursement for school tuition? I uh, No, we do not. All right. How about reimbursement for, like, wait tickets? Um, it depends. Usually the way that we do it, we have an app on the phone that all of our drivers have to scale tickets. So you shouldn't even have to pay to scale a load. What's the, uh, what's the trucks governed at? They're governed at 68 on the cruise, 65 on the pedal. How many drivers is assigned to a fleet manager? Um, right now I've got two, three people planning loads and then each load planner has a dispatcher directly under them. Probably about 20 to 25 drivers per planner right now. Okay. Do you guys have an open door policy? Yeah, we basically do. Is all miles paid or is it paid by zip to zip or hub miles? <laughs> it's all miles. Um, the way, the, it's practical miles and they do it based off of PC miles. You already mentioned uh, New York City and uh, California, so there is no force dispatch to those two uh, places. No, no, uh, we don't go there. I, I think I, I've been here three and a half years and I've seen one driver go through New York, so it's a rare happening. Um, there is no force dispatch, however, 
like I said, if, if you're not making the minimum miles that we ask you guys to make and you're turning down loads or requesting time off frequently, that sort of thing, they will pull you in to talk to you about it and see what's going on. Well, how's the home time works? Every seven to ten days. How much can a driver inspect to make after one year of service with you guys? I believe after a year, is uh, the president does uh, an evaluation. And usually drivers get, you know, at least a penny raise per mile. We do have monthly safety bonuses where you have the opportunity to make an additional $75 a month if you receive 100 on your driver scorecard. That being about $1,600 worth of bonuses that we offer. And what's your name again? Ashley. Um, is there anything that uh, that you can... Uh, no, I think you covered all your bases. All right, um, all right. Thank if you're if you're interested, I have a a website I can send you to, so you can go fill out an application. What's the what's the website? It's drive okay. and the number four ft like freezars trucking dot career. Very good, ma'am. Very good. Well, thank you very much for your time. All right, Lashawn. It was good talking to you. Call me if you have any questions while you're filling it out. I will. I will. Thank you very much, ma'am, and thank you for you're your welcome. time. All right, everybody. That was Fresnar. See, I keep butchering the name. Fresnar. Freezar. Freezar. A small trucking company with only 88 drivers there. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good information there. Uh, they don't have a recruiter, so I actually talked to Ashley, the um the safety the safety girl so this goes to show you that this company right here is 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 more of a small mom and pop family oriented type company guys if you're interested in freezing art of course this is a subscriber requested video so there you go subscriber go ahead and uh check them out get them a call all right well that's it for this episode of lockout men makes the call uh, tune in next week for another call that I will make to a, a carrier. If you guys have any questions that you'd like for me to ask them, leave it in the comments below. And if you guys want me to call a particular carrier, leave that in the comments below. Until next time, you guys take it easy. Y'all stay blessed out there. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace.